Hello there, okay, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm hopefully going to show you how you can create a sequence that looks like CCTV. This is perhaps useful for crime, thriller, supernatural, uh, horror genres, where something suspicious or something dangerous happens to a character and it's captured by local CCTV. It's good for providing some sort of backstory, an enigma code perhaps, and creates some immersion for the audience who might perceive this as them watching a character uh, do something they shouldn't do, or perhaps be a victim of something. It provides immersion for them. It might provide uh, some trauma for, for them to see this uh, incident happen, perhaps in a flashback mode. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is to film a clip from a high vantage point, perhaps the second or third floor of a building, uh, which I've done here. And a student has filmed a sequence where their character is disposing of some evidence and then they walk off into uh, the distance. It already looks a little bit like CCTV from the fact that it's a high angle. It's on a little bit of a Dutch tilt, suggesting the cameras are fixed to the side of the building, perhaps. It's got a long shot, so we can see the head to toe of the character in question. Uh, it's static, so it doesn't move. And it's quite a wide angle as well, so we can see uh, the entirety of this suspicious uh, abandoned location. Okay, So it kind of already looks a little bit like CCTV. But there are certainly things in post-production we can do to make it look more authentic and provide some extra immersion for the audience. So on YouTube, there are an array of different um, green screen videos that you can download. Uh, so if you just search green screen CCTV in YouTube, uh, you'll certainly find uh, one or two of these. I quite like using them both together. So if you're going to follow this tutorial, perhaps download them both as MP4s and bring them into your Premiere Pro. And I've already put them on the timeline uh, to save some time. So, I'm going to drag this clip on top of my original high angle CCTV shot. Obviously, we can't see it anymore because it's sitting on video layer 5 uh, and my clip is on video layer 2. So, we need to remove the green but leave all of the other inf interface pixels intact. We do this by using the ultra key. If you drag the ultra key effect onto the clip that you want to remove the green from, it will appear in the effects controls panel. If we click the eyedropper and then go over and click any green pixel, any green pixel similar to that green pixel will immediately be deleted. And what you are left with is the, bla the black, the white, the red and the greys uh, remaining. All of the green pixels from that layer have now disappeared. So that's already looking a little bit more like CCTV. We can then drag in this second composite, which I also quite like using. The reason for that is it has this strobing effect that makes the monitor look a little bit old and archaic, perhaps. Obviously, repeat, so ultra key, drag onto that clip, click the eyedropper tool, find the dark and the light green, click, and it'll disappear. You're left with the dark black kind of stroby pixels, the, the imperfections of the screen. And that also looks a little bit more like CCTV now. The issue I have with this second layer is it has camera free and its own time code uh, on there as well, which I don't like as well as the time code, the date stamp and the record button from the original layer that we used in the first place. So what I like to do to this layer is click it and then just scale it a little bit so you can see that camera free graphic disappears off the top of the canvas so we can no longer see it, but we can still see the strobing lines across. And if we play that back, that's gonna look a little bit more authentic and the two layers are, co are complementing each other. What I'll need to do this time, however, is copy that layer because it's a little bit shorter. Copy it a couple of times and position it in place one after another so we get a loop effect uh, and I'm going to need to do it for that top one as well because that's a little bit short too and put that there. My clip ends here so I can just drag these two back in so that they end at the same time as my original clip. Okay, And there you go, that's already looking more authentic than it perhaps did if I were to take those two layers off. Okay. But I do feel like there's perhaps one last trick uh, we can apply here. If you click your original video layer, not the two green screens that you've added, your original camera angle that you filmed from the high vantage point from the second or third floor of whichever building you film your CCTV clip from. If we click that clip and go over at the effects, we don't want the ultra key anymore. We want something that's referred to as color balance HLS. If you search HLS in the panel, it will appear, color balance HLS. Drag it onto the clip 
and in effects controls HLS will appear. What we want to do is desaturate. You can go full black and white if you want. It's entirely plausible that a CCTV monitor will be black and white fully. What we might also want to do is desaturate only just a little bit. So we start to see this kind of old fashioned green tinted uh, monochrome um, CCTV monitor. So it is up to you uh, which you would like and which you would prefer. But there we go. That's looking pretty authentic now as a CCTV clip with the multiple layers all complementing each other, all adding to the immersion of a CCTV graphic that would appear in any security office in the real world. Okay, and there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.